What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Modo WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna explore some functions of the new Revolution Slider in its version 6. More specifically, we're gonna be exploring how to align elements using Revolution Slider 6. So, as you can see right here, we have one of our WordPress team demonstrative sliders. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below in a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to import the sliders using Revolution Slider 6. But the plugin, the, the, the elements into the plugin, it's not properly aligned. And now we're gonna see how to align elements using Revolution Slider. We're gonna move to our WordPress dashboard Scroll down until you have see the Revolution slider, click on it, hover the slider that we want to edit, and click on edit button. It's gonna load you the Revolution slider editor screen. And here you can see all the elements. We're gonna select one, hover your mouse over it, click on it, and now we're gonna move to size and POS, size and positions. And in the position and size tab, you're gonna not see the alignment buttons. For example, here you can align to the center in the X option. You also can use your keyboard tabs to move your element to the top or to the bottom or even click on the element and using your mouse you can change the position and also and to finish you can use the align just to make sure that it's gonna be aligned for example right here to the center center in the bottom Now, the logo, we're gonna click here to the center, and now, we're gonna change the vertical size, zero, gonna move it to the top, once the zero position is set at the top, now, 60, Let's try 70. Ninety. And it's done. As you cannot see, it's pretty simple and fast to align your slider elements. And very intuitive. You have some more methods to do and you can choose the best one for you the slider is already aligned all to the center and in some cases you need to hover this button so you can load the notebook view, the tablet view or the mobile view of your slider so you can check if the elements are aligned into these displays as well it's always, go it's always good to test the responsive view of the slider and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes and much more. I see you later. All the best!